So today I'm going to give you a quick tip how to get your logo on your dropshipping products. And I think that's really cool because we always think the logo is kind of reserved to minimum order quantities of a thousand pieces and all that kind of stuff. There are actually ways to get that on your dropshipping products. In this video today, I'm going to tell you how to do it, what it costs and how long it takes. First, before we start this, um, I want to make clear that it's not an easy, simple process to do it by yourself, okay? So what I recommend you to do is hire someone that can do it for you. Hire a dropshipping agent or hire our service. You don't pay more for that service than you would anyway. Now, you should have someone to help you with that. That can be a dropshipping agent, a sourcing agent. We can do that in our service here. You have to talk with the supplier a lot. What you can do, basically, the process is you go on AliExpress. Don't go on Alibaba. Uh, use AliExpress because those suppliers are already geared towards dropshippers. If you go on Alibaba and you try to do that, um, first of all, there's the myth that Alibaba has better quality. That's not true. It's just about picking the right supplier, right? So you can pick the right supplier by contacting multiple factories, multiple suppliers on AliExpress. Most of the people on AliExpress don't, are not the actual supplier, are not factory. These are not the manufacturer. Usually these are trading companies that just buy say, 100 units from the supplier and then they stock 100 units and then they drop ship out those products for you. You make a sale, your customer needs the product, you reach out to the AliExpress supplier, which is an agency. These are not the actual manufacturers. Then they ship it out for you, right? Sometimes you can find people in those agencies that before they ship it out, they can put your logo on it. You have to pay a little bit of, an, of a setup fee, of an upfront fee. It depends on what you want to do with your logo. For example, if you sell glasses, there are multiple ways to get logos on your product, right? You can engrave it, can print it, laser it, wooden products. You can laser it, you can engrave it, you can print it. Plastic products, you can print it. Fabric products, you can stitch it. There are so many ways that you can get logos on your product. I think it's cool to do that if it makes sense for the money. They do charge you a little bit more for each product where they stamp your logo on it or they print your logo on it. And there is a setup fee. So let's just go with a simple example where you sell a wooden product. Okay. One of my first products was a wooden product. It was a comb that you use for grooming, for beard grooming. So let's just take that as an example. So let's say you found your AliExpress supplier and you ask them, it's like, hey, can you do can you do drop shipping? That's the very first question that you should ask them. What are your quotes? What are your numbers? You make pre-selection. Then you ask all of them, hey, can you customize my product? Let's go for the comp. Can we laser my logo in it? Or can we laser a name in it? Or can we laser a customization? This only makes sense if you can charge more money for it. If not, then it doesn't, doesn't really matter, right? Sometimes it makes sense to just increase the value. Like if you have these comps, you put a slogan on it, then you all of a sudden have multiple multiple options for your product. Let's say you have the glasses and you put three different designs on it. What you have to do is you pay three times the setup fee with that dropshipping supplier. And what they do is basically they have one laser. This It's like this big or they have a stamp. They can put your slogan and print it on the product with, with that stamp, right? It's a very quick thing to do for them. Before they ship it out, they just take it, put it in the thing, press a button, blah, 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 it gets done they put it in the box and ship it out. So it can be done. And I think that's very exciting, it's very cool. Just be mindful about it. And what, what you have to expect is that you have to pay a setup fee one time to do it. That can be $90, that can be $200, that can be $150. Only do it if it makes sense. Just to put your logo on it for your own self-esteem and to feel good about yourself that you now have a brand, that doesn't make sense, right? But if you have anything design-wise that can increase your price, that can differentiate you from competition, well, why not, right? Why not? Why not go with that? You have to set up fee with a supplier. The supplier obviously has to be willing to do it. But there are companies that can do it. We do that all the time. Find suppliers that are willing to do it. We find those agencies that that already have like a little laser or a little you know printing press or whatever it is. They can do it. It's just about first finding them, then getting that right. So. Once you pay the setup fee, they have to make a sample for you. Don't just rely on it and say, okay, now that you, you can do it, just right away start shipping out to your cu customer. Uh-uh. You need to have a sample first. You need to see if they made a good job, if they have screwed up your stamp or if they have some mistake in the design when lasering your slogan on it. Maybe they mirror it. <laughs> we had a laser engraving. 
I'm not sure what it was anymore. Laser or engraved, doesn't matter. Something went wrong in the software and they mirrored it. So the text wasn't readable, except you, you kind of put a mirror on it. And they didn't realize it, they didn't check it, they didn't care, I don't know. We had a sample that we ordered from them before we started to place our first dropshipping order. And that way we made sure it's all right. It's a little bit more of a process. It's not something that's super easy, super quick to do, but it's definitely possible. And it can differentiate you from the marketplace. Just my recommendation for you, don't do it yourself. That's what I, I recommend to you because it takes a little bit of knowing the right process. I think it's really cool. Like I say, not just for your logo, just for something that can differentiate you. So if everyone just sells the same comp, you can put your slogan on it. If everyone just sells the same glasses, you can put your design on it. You can have your design for clothing or for bags or for you know, t-shirts, whatever you want to do. There are so many possibilities to do that. Sometimes you have to kind of buy a minimum of, you know, 10 units or 15 units that you kind of have to deposit so that they can do it. But that's really fine, you know. Just make sure your numbers still work out because they're gonna charge you more per item for the effort to do it. Go through your numbers, find a dropshipping agent or send me an email at nils, that's Niels at easypeasysourcing.com and I tell you what we can do for you. That's my message here for you. Comment below what kind of ideas you have for slogans or design ideas that you would use when customizing your dropshipping products. Mm -hmm.